OK, to get Reshade working, download Reshade first. Just press download Reshade 4.7 is my version. By the time you're watching this, there's probably a new version, but the method should be the same. You don't need anything else from the website. Now find where the game files are. For example, for Ravenfield, a Unity engine based game, in Steam I go to Manage and Browse Local Files. I copy this path. OK, I hope you know how to find files you downloaded. If not, go to your download folder, go to View, click Details, and then Sort by Date. And if it's not at the top, so click Sort by Date again. And if it's not at the top, click Sort by Date again, and then scroll up. Anyways, here's a reshade setup. Let's double click it. And here you have to tell it where is that game. So click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation. Basically, you have to read a lot to understand how to use reshade. but I understand that this is counterintuitive, so I'm here to explain it to you. Click the big button. Ignore this. Your computer might freeze though. Click Browse. In this new window, click at the top and paste the path of the game you found. Again, this path here, click it, Control C, and then put it in here and press Enter. Okay, here's the exe file, so select the exe file. Now, apparently, this application identified that Ravenfield is using OpenGL. We are going to go with OpenGL. This might be wrong. You might have to repeat this process with Direct3D 9, with Direct3D 10, 11, 12, or Vulkan. Actually, let's try it out. Let's try what it doesn't recommend. Let's try Vulkan. So I selected Vulkan. Okay, let's ignore everything that's here and press OK. Okay, now let's press OK. Okay, now let's press OK. Okay, now let's just close it. And now we're just going to start Ravenfield. At the top of the screen, there is no box that appears and tells you how to use Reshade. That means that this was not successful. So we're just going to go out of the game and we're going to run the Reshade setup again. So again, click here and again select the exe. And this time we're going to try Direct 3D 9 and everything is the same. OK, OK, done. Let's try it again. Again, at the top there is no box. I'm going to Alt F4 out of the game. This is just for showing you what happens when it doesn't work. And it's very likely that it doesn't work. So please have patience. We are just going to try Direct 3D 10, 11, 12 again. Not again, but also. Click OK every time, just so you understand that it doesn't matter if you have to rerun the setup multiple times. It's not a problem. Don't worry about it. And we can close this and we can start Ravenfield and again it will be OpenGL. Oh, look at that. Reshade 4.7 in my case. It is now installed and it tells us press home to start the tutorial. So we have to do that. You probably notice that the font is incredibly hard to read. This is the biggest, single biggest problem of Reshade, but that's, that's how it is. What you can do is press control on your keyboard and scroll in, but not here. First press home or pause one, press that key. Now this appears. Okay, now with control and mouse wheel, you can zoom in. Not ideal, but that's how it is. You can also resize this window by clicking and dragging it. Bit better. You cannot resize this, so you will have to actually click and drag to scroll here or use the mouse wheel. Now, don't press skip tutorial. Do not press skip tutorial. Press continue. Here, press the plus and call it my new style. Now, let's take a little break. Press home again and again. Okay, it works. So we can return to this again. So let's press home to make it uh, go away and let's start a game. So let's press home again. Let's continue. Here we can enable stuff now. I'm just going to make this a little smaller and move it to the right. No, 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 to the right. Okay, we have to actually use these docs. And now, for example, let's enable LUT or Technicolor. That makes a difference. How about um, maybe film grain? No? Layers? Yeah, we can do something there. Color matrix? Yeah, that makes a change. Monochrome? That also makes a change. HDR? Yeah, that also some does something. Anyways, press continue again. And finish. Okay. You can read all of this, of course, if you want. But we're going to go to, for example, LUT and just play with the slider. OK, let's disable that again. Scroll down, we're going to go to Vignette, Vignette, Vignette. And here, let's play with a slider. You can clearly see the effect here, right? So already stuff is working. 
We can have multiple things at the same time. Let's see, SMMA. I think I already have this enabled in game, so never mind. How about tint? Let's make everything super green. Yuck. Let's t uh, turn that off and maybe try out mm, nostalgia. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, thank you. Advanced CRT. This one's kind of fun. We can reduce the effect again by pr playing with these sliders. We can add borders to make it more cinematic. That's a bit silly, but also so somewhat cool. Oh yeah, you can press Control, left click to type in a number. But yeah, this one doesn't work. Never mind that. But let's try curves. I'm just gonna look. Uh, come on, disable, and turn on again. Curves off, curves on. You can have a much more contrasty look if you want. We can change to chroma. We can change whatever we want. You don't really need to understand whatever is going on here with these settings. It would be cool, of course, but you can just keep playing around. Okay, I'm just gonna kill uh, the game, Alt F4. Apparently that doesn't work when Reshade is on, so I had to press home first. And now we're gonna again go to Reshade Setup, select the game again, and uh, well, we did find that DirectX, we found that Direct 3D 10, 11, 12 actually works, and I was actually surprised that OpenGL was the default selection. So maybe OpenGL wouldn't even work. But if we now add OpenGL, that actually wouldn't change anything because the Direct 3D 10, 11, 12 installation is already there. To test it, let's delete Reshade. We can just use the date modified sort to ensure what we need to delete. So these files were not here before. They were added just now. So let's delete all these. Let's try OpenGL. Let's again go with OK, OK. OK, close, and start. Hey, this one works too. Interesting, so either OpenGL or Direct 3D 10, 11, 12 both work. Strange, interesting, cool. So that's fine, let's just go with the OpenGL one, I don't really care for now. And let's run the setup again. Again, let's select the exit again, because now we're gonna again pick OpenGL, because now we're gonna select update, and we're gonna install so many more. Can we, can we actually check all? Yeah, check all, that actually works. So let's press OK, and again OK, and again OK. And now we will have to wait for quite some downloads and installs, and confirm and confirm, and confirm and confirm again. But there's gonna be so many effects to choose from. So at some point it would be cool to know which ones you want, Oh, these are legacy, so let's not go with all of them. Actually, let's uncheck them all. Okay, so we are done. You can also see the reshade shaders folder. We have some textures, we have shaders in here, sorted in folders. So you can basically just copy this folder if you want this to be active in other projects as well. Anyways, let's start the game. Oh, look at that. There were some errors compiling some shaders. Hopefully that will be uh, not a problem. But first we're gonna go into the game. We're just gonna start a sesh. So here's the tutorial again. Let's walk through it. Okay, we have a lot of stuff now. Dither, grains. Okay, this one doesn't work. Uh, let's click continue. Adaptive tone mapper. That one's interesting. Color lab. We can just colorize stuff. Pirate bloom. That sounds great. Wow, we can actually do this. <laughs> we can change aspect ratio live. That is awesome. Whoa, cool. What? <laughs> well, as you can see, there is a lot more. Now, all of this can affect performance, of course. Bye. Okay, let's try with something else. Resident Evil 2. Let's check the demo, for example. Let's go to Browse Local Files. Here's RE2XE. Let's install Reshade again. Browse and pick this location. Pick RE2. We're gonna go with Direct 3D 10, 11, 12. Most modern game use that. And let's go for defaults. And again, and again. And close and start the game. And here we have it. Press home. Okay, I guess we have to wait for it to load. Home? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so here we are in the game. Let's go and, yeah, skip the tutorial. And now we can play around. Curves, Sky. Yeah, let's try that. Let's play it like this. Not really though, no. HDR should be fine. Let's see, Luma, Chroma, let's make this lighter. So now it looks a little uh, more saturated, I guess. But you can go crazy and make it 
Well, no thanks. Black and white, change the tint. Don't know what the cartoon shader does really. Or add the CRT effect, which is really horrible. And this is how you use reshade in today's day and age. Hope this was useful. Have fun modding your games to look even prettier than they are now. And I will see you next time. Until then, ciao.